Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 10 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Yay, luck plus 10. Look at this, quick for 10 coins. Yay. Um, yeah, today's problem is 1328, break a palindrome. Okay, so given a palindrome string of, uh, pa just given a string, replace exactly one character with lowercase character, so it's not a palindrome. Okay. Oh. And that it is lexicographically smallest. Okay. So if it's already not a palindrome, oh, wait, is it always a palindrome? Just double checking. Uh, I mean, I g yeah, okay. So given a palindromic string, okay. I just wasn't sure because. So for some reason, I looked at the constraint and they didn't really put, talk about it. We could try it, I guess. Try like a, you know, what the, and then see if uh, the 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 constraint checker would will allow me. Okay, so there you go. They, um, so that's good. Or um, you know, that's a different problem. I feel like I've done this problem before, maybe in a contest, either maybe even on lead code or on code force, something like that. It seems like um away ad hoc problem doesn't really seem like it would be a good interview problem just because either you get away quickly or you don't or i mean or you may just take it longer but it's just like what kind of measurement of uh test are there right so okay so that means that to be honest that means that for um if you change any character because it's already a palindrome if you change any character other than say the one string character um you change any character it should be it should already not be a palindrome, right? Um, the only case is, mm, yeah, um, that's the case. I'm trying to think about the odd, odd, um, odd length ones, right? Like for example, I'm thinking about say ABA, like I guess AA, you can't change it to AAA, it would just be BBA maybe. Hmm. I guess that's fine. Um, but, but then the one character one is the one that I don't think there's a so maybe we'll just write it that way if this is equal to one we return empty space okay and then otherwise uh, oh, excuse me yikes sorry friends a little bit tired today otherwise um, well well, let's go over two cases, right? One is that basically because of the lexicographically smallest one, what we want to do essentially is put an A somewhere the earliest that we can, right? So, yeah. So I think that's maybe it. If if there's no A, uh, if there's no place to do that, then we just put A all the way at the end or, or B all the way at the end, right? So, for example, if you have... A, 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 then you, it goes to A, 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 B, right? And, and then the other case is that if you have something like A, A, B, A, A, well, then you also t turn B into the end. Uh, uh, whoops. Wait, I meant this to this, right? So, mm, are those all the cases? I mean, all the special cases, um, because, well, yeah, because they have to be. So if, 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 we will change A, um, if, if, if mm, okay. And if there's five of this, you change B anyway. Okay. So yeah. But then there's the other one, right? Where, where, okay. So this one, we cannot change the B to A. So then we have to change this A to B. But what if there's like, a A C A A. That the answer is actually A A. Oh wait, no. I was gonna say it's this, but actually not right. So it's still A C A B. I think. Yeah. Because you can't change the C to B. Okay, so okay. I think I'm convinced then. Um. Okay. So how do I express this in a uh, in code, right? So. Mm, so okay. I think the idea is just take the first. Maybe I'll be a little bit lazy, but I think we can 
special case this more specifically, but I'm going to be a little bit lazy where I go. Okay. Mm. So I just find the first instance where that's not an A, right? So something like this, right? If um, palindrome of I is not equal to A, if it's not equal to A, then what? Then, well, then now it is possibly an A or not, right? Okay, if everything is A, then we just return palindrome um, to the negative 1 plus B. To negative 1 or negative 2? I don't know. We'll, we'll check later. I guess we can check now, actually, before I forget. Uh, so then here we have, to, oops, new UI is still a little weird. Okay, so this is... Good. I, I just wasn't. I always when I use negative one notation, I always forget if it's whatever. But okay, so if it's not equal to a, then we want to get new string. Say is you go to pattern drum going to um, i plus a plus pattern drum from i plus one, something like this. Maybe I'm off by one here as well. Okay, if new string is a pattern drum. Then, yeah, this is a palindrome. Oops. Um, then we still, then we have to return this B thing. Otherwise, then we return new string. I think that's roughly right. Maybe I'm off by one again, like I said. So, but st these things I'm a little bit always awkward on. Uh, okay, so I'll put, hmm, that's not right, right? I put B here. All right, let, let's see. Um, hmm. New string. So A A C C B A. Oh, whoops! I meant this does a not. Okay, so maybe that's the only thing. Let's see. I was like, huh, that doesn't make sense. That's because we have the double negative. So I think that's my fault there. Uh, hmm, it's still wrong. Wait, what did I do wrong? Or am I looking at a different problem or different uh, input? Okay, so let's see. I print this, and that's not decode. So if it's not a oh no, no. Yeah, if it's not, I, I think I got it right the first time. If it's not, if it's a palindrome, then we return the original one plus B. Otherwise, we return the new string, right? What did I get wrong on? Hmm. So I print this out. Oh, 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 I I, I'm dumb. I just didn't put return. There we go. Eh, today is a weird day. I've been doing a lot of these silliness lately, though. Hmm. Even though, in theory, like the, the logic, I'm okay. But the implementation, there's just a lot of silliness. Okay, so that looks good. Let me run it again without the weird stuff. And then let's give it a submit. Hopefully this is right. I feel like I remember this, but apparently not enough to uh, uh, not enough to get it correctly quickly. Um, all right. So yeah, uh, good streak going. What is this, right? This is linear time, linear space because, well, linear space is because that's the size of the output, so you can't really get around it. But linear time because we look at each uh, thing once and as soon as we find something that's not a we only do a couple of linear operations two of them in fact and three maybe we count that so yeah so still o of n um because it's just o of n plus o of n plus o of n that that uh, like you know four times so yeah uh that's all i have for this one so let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health hope y'all have a great rest of the week start off the week strong i'll see you later and take care bye bye